This video shows how to design a splint using a canvas technique. First, we put down a canvas on the floor. Then we'll select a curve or polyline. It's a way of using Bezier curves to control how a line curves given a few points. Choose polyline and begin by making an outline of the shape of the finger splint that we'd like to make. We'll close the polyline so it's one set of continuous dots and lines. Then we can move each point to get the contour that we'd like. Just even it out a little bit on the sides. That's good. The next thing we'll do is extrude this surface since it doesn't have any dimension yet. And if you look to the right, when I hit the extrude or sweep key, you'll start to see the shape acquire a, a, a Z dimension. That looks pretty good. Okay. Next, we sweep the surface up four or five segments. Now we'll rotate that 90 degrees after bringing it back to coordinates 000, stand it up, thin it a little bit, get it the right dimension for our splint. Next thing, we'll open another window and look down from on top and choose a bend. We want to tell it what direction we want it to bend, so we'll turn it maybe 80 or 90 degrees and then bend the structure around that. We can also use a skew to skew it out at the bottom or the top to make it thicker or thinner at the bottom or the top. Now we'll close this window so we can see it better. Pick rotate the scene. Now we want to pick a few areas that we want to again extrude or sweep out. We sweep that out one segment and we can also bevel those surfaces to take the edge off of them. I'm just picking the edges that we want to bevel or round. Now we'll pick the lighting that we want to see the scene in. Now we'll turn the object to take a look at it from different directions to see if it fits the contour of the splint. And that, that doesn't look too bad and the entire process took about minute and a half to two minutes. Thanks, hope you enjoyed this.